I remember uh, one of my students uh, had mentioned to me that it was, um, it felt a little bit like 9-11 uh, in this way of this idea that we could be um, targeted in this way or the country could be targeted in this way and they felt a, a parallel with um, what happened in the election that it was this kind of upside down feeling um, that and so I think those kinds of reactions are educative um, for all of us in thinking about how we think about context within our curriculum. Sometimes I think as educators we think, well, is that really primary? Is that really important if we're focused on individual suffering? Um, should we not focus more on symptomology? That, um, and yet it's um, oftentimes those symptoms are shaped by living conditions, by the relationships that people have with people in their families, in their communities, in their schools, in their workplaces and attitudes, social attitudes, that shape how a symptom is experienced. So it's not just a list of symptoms we care about, but what the experience of that symptom actually is. Because if we understand that, then we'll be much better positioned to really make a difference.